I think, okay, I, I think we're on recording now, so we're just gonna like a brief introduction. So everyone, we've got a really exciting episode today. Uh, Joe, uh, a new buddy of hey, mine, good morning. He, reached, he reached out to me and said, hey, let's do a, uh, a video that would benefit a bunch of viewers. I know that a lot of you folks have invested in HCMC and I thought, hey, a lot of you guys have not even seen their stores. Why not check out their store? Joe had mentioned that he's from Florida. So I know that they've got locations in Florida. And so he's, he was so kind enough. I think you drove out like it's an hour away from your home or so. Yeah. Um, so, hey, thanks. Uh, really, really appreciate you having me today, Andrew. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Um, yeah, so uh, I had the day off, uh, drove about an hour and a half. It's a really nice day, as you can see. Uh, the clouds are starting to clear up, so I think it's going to be great. But yeah, I drove out to Ada's Market, as you guys can see behind me. Um, this is one of the grocery store franchises that uh, is operated by, a by HCMC. So um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm coming out here to walk you guys through it and take a look inside, see how the setup is, the layout, and um, that it actually exists, right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of folks are saying that it may be a defunct company, OTC penny stocks, it's a scam and all of this. So I think with the visual, I think it would help a lot of people out. One of the components about HCMC that I am excited about is the healthier choices, their organic food section. So I think that their key to dollar land is to expand organic food, healthy living. So I don't know if you agree with me. Absolutely, 100%. And I think that, you know, as we progress into the future where, you know, you have your um, vegetarians and things like that, that, you know, want to, uh, th that are expanding their views on the reasons why it's a healthier choice. Um, and a lot of people are turning into that either vegan, vegetarian, you know, uh, pescatarian, whatever have you, and, you know, looking for healthier alternatives. So I think that you're absolutely right. Staying on that course and that track is, it's going to be a bright future for them. Um, we're taking a, uh, a walk up to the store now. I did notice earlier as I was pulling in, looks like they opened up a sushi market inside. Oh, really? so they have fresh sushi. They have like a whole su sushi bar. Um, I'm going to take you guys inside here. That's wonderful. I love sushi. You guys see like random photos that I post of videos of sushi in my videos. But do we actually have their permission? Can they, will they allow us to, to do a little recording? Do you think? Absolutely. I mean, if anything, okay. I'm going to be uh, on the phone with you, right? Whenever I'm walking yeah. in. So okay, we're going to kind of just head on in then. Um, so okay. first thing, whenever you walk in, guys, I mean, you can see that they have uh, their items just certain things specials it looks like some water and things right um i'm gonna take a trip over here guys so this is their fresh foods fruits and vegetables oh nice it looks like they have veggie noodles guys so that's definitely butternut squash noodles zucchini noodles sweet potato noodles beetroot noodles wow so can you can i ask you a question while you're there absolutely okay so obviously a lot of people say that um we all know that organic food is good but what's barred most of us from organic food is the pricing hey, how are their prices so we're going to take a look here um it looks like for most of their noodle packs which are about 6.99 and they're about 10.5 ounces so if you look at serving size, servings per container is about four. Um, I'd say $6.99, $7, four servings per container. So what's your opinion, I guess, on the price? I live in Virginia and there is this market called Mom's Organic. Organic is just so expensive, so insane. I would buy a few like bell peppers and it would be like, you know, three, four dollars or something like that. And I just think it's so outrageous that you know, organic food is only available for people who can afford it. We'll say that their their uh, their prices, as I look a little further down, they are a little high. Like your ranch dressings are six ninety nine for a sixteen okay. floor ounce glass jar. So, I mean, I would definitely say, you know, if if I went to my typical s supermarket down here, uh, it's going to be like a Publix or even like a Walmart supermarket. You can, you know, go down your 
salad dressing aisle and you're probably going to spend maybe two ninety nine, three dollars and change. So I'd say that that's probably double the price in, okay. um, from a typical store. Ingredients and also the fact that they actually don't have a place to plant their own pro produce. So I, what I was thinking is if they were to get a settlement and they buy like a, a big plot of land and set up their own farm and grow their own produce, I think that's the way for them to scale and to offer products that are more affordable and make them more competitive. So to me, people ask me, Andrew, do you think HCMC can go to a dollar? In my opinion, if they choose that path, then I think it's going to go beyond a dollar. And I hope that they would do something like that. This is cool. So you see that this section, um, how big is their selection? So, I mean, I'd say if, if you can tell, guys, this is kind of the end cutoff right here, right? So this is okay. basically a squared off section of where they have all of their fresh produce, if you would, right? So, um, and honestly, if I look over here, right, like a cabbage of lettuce, right, is only 99 cents. So oh, that's, that's not, not bad. bad. That's yeah. not bad at all. You know, um, if you wanted to do organic red cabbage, it's only a dollar forty nine. That's really cheap, actually. Absolutely. And you know what? The reason why the other stuff was more expensive was because it's already prepped and prepared. That's why it's more expensive. I think. And I think that that's a big thing, too, is that it's prepped and prepared. So they have over here, guys, as soon as you walk in, it's an organic juice bar and Ooh. a green leaf cafe where you can get freshly prepared meals, drinks and things like that all done right there. So very, very cool. Um, I'm going to take you guys over to this section here. So this is right next to where we were at the fresh produce. This is their, it looks like um, organic ground, like nuts, peanuts. It looks like um, almonds. They have chocolate covered almonds. So maybe a little bit of protein, right? Protein and let me see. They got yellow split peas, green split peas. So this is almost like uh, your own portion. Like you can weigh out your own portion here of how much you want or how much you need. They have bran, wheat, vegetable protein, barley. Wow. It's like actual just... Um, like the actual natural dry ingredients in bulk. So you got chickpeas, black beans, red chili beans. Yeah, this is actually very common in organic uh, food stores because the, the store that I go to, I mentioned moms, they do sort of moms. the same thing. But I think this place got a bigger selection. Even, even what you've showed it's me huge. so far of the organic produce section, it's bigger than moms. And you can get your own coffee beans, guys. So for our coffee lovers out there, they have their own section, which is awesome. I don't know if you are an HCMC investor, but so many of the videos that I've seen only covers the, the vaping section, the, the lawsuit, but they can completely forget about the store. And it's not just the one, you know, they have multiple grocery food chains. It's not just this one. I'm excited to see if they're going to even expand it more because I know that, you know, um, it took me an hour and a half to drive out here, but, you know, perhaps in the future, we're going to see more of the Ada's natural food markets kind of expanding across the area, I think would be really cool. Um, if I go over to the next section here, guys, it looks like um, they have a wine section, a craft mm. beer section which nice. craft beer, I'm not sure how popular that is up there where you are, but down here in Florida, craft beer is a definitely, it's a scene. Um, are you familiar with craft beer? Um, I am not an expert, but I'm going to rely on you. Um, craft beer trend that's happening down here, but craft beer, it's just, it's, it's a lot stronger, pale ales and, um, I'm not really a, a craft beer connoisseur myself, but here they have a whole wine section. Neck and sustainable, sparkling wines, white wines, red wines. Wow. That's awesome. You know, this is a lot, to be honest with you, this is a lot bigger than I had anticipated. Like I've mentioned, there's the mom store here. This white, a variety of, of things. And Ada's salad bar, it's keto friendly. And it's only $8.49 for a pound salad. 
Not bad. And it looks like all of the ingredients, from what I can see, guys, they are very, very clean, very fresh. Oh, that's awesome. And then here, it looks like this is their market prepared foods. Mm. This way, the, you, so, you mentioned the new sushi, uh, this new sushi area. that Right behind got. me, guys, is actually right over here. It's called Fusion Bowls. So this is a whole sushi cafe. They even have an in, in-store dining experience, guys. An oh, in-store nice. dining experience where you can sit down and enjoy a lunch. That's very mm. cool. Uh, they have the poke bowls. Uh, to be honest, guys, I'm probably going to get lunch here. <laughs> nice. And yeah, what about a little coffee shop? Like, do they have? Can you buy coffee there? I believe that was um, that uh, at the very front of the store where we originally saw. Um, I believe that that was their cafe. Oh, so they have a cafe. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so yeah. they have a, so a little lunch area, the, a little cafe. The Green Leaf Cafe that we saw at the at the front here was right here. Oh, nice. I yeah. actually you, you showed us the coffee, but didn't you didn't you didn't show us the cafe? Cafe is ah, nice. My apologies. So yeah, we definitely um they have a cafe and they offer gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan, lactose-free. Uh, it looks like they have different types of bowls that you can do. Uh, they have a full juice bar, smoothies. You can either uh, choose to add protein or not. Um, wow, man, this is really, really awesome. So many yeah. different options that they have all in one place. And it looks like on the other side of the store. So as you can see, right, this was all grocery over here. And then this side, it looks like we're getting into more of the um, like pharmaceutical, hair care, body care, soaps, more organic, just products, your everyday necessities, I suppose, right? So much bigger than I had, I had imagined in my head. Yeah, they have a, a whole pharmaceutical area. If I go down here for anybody that um, does like, so they have essential oils, right? Mm. This is going to be for aromatherapy and things of that nature, right? You got mm -hmm. makeup and skincare. Mm. So beauty products. We keep going down. I think that this is going to be more or the same here, right? And then if we go down to the end where we were by the sushi bar, where the sushi bar was right down there, guys. Yeah. Then you have all of your meats. So you got your organic chicken breast and things like that, right? And it's not badly priced, guys. It's ten ninety nine. dollars um, I think that, uh, and or the, this one right here, you got uh, smart two chicken breast, guys, is only $6.99. I know that like organic uh, chicken is a lot smaller. Oh, can you show us what it actually looks like? Yeah. Okay. And if you can see, guys, I mean, my hand is pretty big. Huh? It's a nice size breast. And would you say like that could feed? Okay, for family of four. Absolutely, absolutely, so about 10 bucks. definitely, definitely, definitely a, a portion for four, hands down. And then it looks like you have you know your bacon, ground beef, and they do have a section for Beyond Beef as well. I know that Beyond Meat is becoming much more popular as well, and you know being carried at a, a lot more places. Yeah, I I hope that they become, you know, um, a tattoo chef because tattoo chef is one of those places where they have their tattoo chef have their own farm, produce their own produce. And it looks like they even give deals, right? So buy one, get one. I know that a big, big thing with a lot of your popular grocery store chains, they have their specials, buy one, get one free, right? I mean, people love to coupon and they do have offers that save you money where you can get, you know, more for the value. That's that's really oh. going to, you know, bring more attraction as well. Oh, man. I'd rather have Ada here instead of moms because moms don't really have any discounts <laughs> and they have such a smaller session. The selection is so tiny. This is this is your normal size supermarket that has everything. Here is going to be the farm fresh dairy area where you got your, it looks like your yogurts, which $2.50, $1.99. Two twenty nine. Now, one thing that I do notice is that 
if I look at everything here, I don't see a single brand that's normally carried in, you know, like your local um, a grocery store, like, you know, if let's say like a Publix or a Winn-Dixie or anything like that, I noticed that everything is definitely a different brand. So obviously it's going to be a more healthier choice. Um, you know, like for your cheeses, right. If I go mm. to the grocery store, I'm used to seeing Kraft, Kraft mm. American cheese. This is, you don't see anything Kraft. You got Daya, Miyoko's. So all healthier I organic options. I wonder who their dealers dealers are. Wonder the same thing. Mm. So they probably have a lot of partnership. Non-GMO product. Very cool. Plant protein is what it says. Okay. I love it. It looks like this is their milk, right? So they obviously have their silk almond, organic, and then eggs. One thing they don't have is your typical white milk. At least I don't see it. And that doesn't make any sense. I mean, you can get, yeah. you can get it from organically from a grass-fed cow. It's raw cow milk, yeah. They do have raw cow's milk. But is it organic? Pasteurized year-round sustainable farming for three generations. You can whip our cream, but you can't beat our milk. Yeah, that is organic milk. So can you tell us how much it is for a gallon? Ten ninety nine, Andrew. Okay, ten ninety nine. So it's like double what? Double what a normal milk. gallon. Yeah, because they're okay. about four ninety nine, five dollars. I'd say inside of the grocery store, right? So ten ninety nine yeah. for that one. Your typical silk milk is four dollars and forty nine cents here. Four dollars oh. and fifty nine, four ninety nine. What does it typically go for in a at a general store? It's like two ninety nine, but it makes sense though because with with you know with nuts, cheaper to grow them organically than to grow a cow. Regular white milk is more expensive. It makes sense. Have your desserts, guys. So this is aisle one, aisle two, aisle three. It looks like we got milk, yogurt, cheese, and water, eggs, frozen entrees, ice cream. This is awesome. This is a big store. Yeah. Well, you know what? This the, the dessert section is actually very important. To me, at least, because I'm a big dessert person. Take a look. People say that like organic desserts aren't tasty at all because they're just imitation. You can see, guys, we got Madagascar vanilla bean ice cream sandwiches. That actually looks really good. And that's a plant-based and dairy-free cookie sandwich. Pretty cool. I wait, wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> wait, hold on. What, what's the plant-based ice cream? Like, how does that work? I think it's the plant-based cookie, Andrew. Let me just oh, make okay. sure. Plant-based yeah. dairy-free cookie sandwich. Let me see. Contains contains coconut. Let me see. Coconut milk, coconut syrup, vanilla extract. You know, I don't see uh, milk in here at all. Yeah, so the, the, your your actual ice cream is from coconut milk. Yeah. So it's plant-based for that. So we don't have any white milk in your ice cream. It's quite healthy. That is very healthy. And it's $5.99 for the single ice cream sandwich. Mm. Cookies and cream, chocolate oh fudge, mint chip. Uh, ice cream sandwiches. This is salted caramel swirl. I've been seeing a lot of this company diet all of your waters, right? So let's just check just to kind of say, is water absurdly priced here? And it's not. It's $1.79 for this big gallon here, right? I think the three liter jug is $1.79. You got your giant gallons down here 2.5 gallon for three dollars and 79 cents so i mean i don't think that water's overpriced i think that it's uh priced well and they have a lot of different options that, and i would expect to see a lot of fiji and things of that nature huh? we need to make sure that all the basics necessities are affordable and then it looks like you got your starches guys so potatoes right we got waffle fries potato puffs sweet potato puffs, 
spicy sweet potato fries. Spicy sweet potato fries. Mm. That actually sounds pretty good. Yeah. These guys, they're priced at less than $5 a bag. S- same thing that I would see inside of a inside of Publix. I mean, if I was to bag a, grab a bag of frozen, you know, f- whether it was waffle fries or tater tots or something like that, it's going to be around $5. So this is one thing that I will say that I have seen in Publix and things like that. I'm sure you have these as well. Amy's. Mm. Amy's is another healthy alternative that I see in a lot of healthier places, but these are your frozen meals. So we got like appetizers and entrees and then let me see. We keep on going down guys. Got your frozen pizzas. So it really does Mm. look like, I mean, they got everything that you could possibly want, whether it's frozen already to just pop in the oven type of meals. You want to do something fresh and make it up yourself in the kitchen. They got options for fresh produce. You want to make your own coffee. You can go and pick your flavor. You want to, you know, um, pretty much everything. I love it. I love the layout too. This is probably one of the cleanest grocery stores I've ever had the pleasure of walking through, Andrew. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I mean, that is, or, you know, like, that would make sense, right? Because they're selling organic food. And if the place is not well organized, nobody's going to want to come in. It's the one thing that I think that they won't have. And if they do have it, I would just be so shocked. It would be seafood. They don't have a seafood s- selection, I bet. We're going to go and check it out. I'm going to walk one quick trip around. And then this is the front of the store, guys. So this is okay. where you would do, uh, you know, your checkout whenever you were done. But let's go and take a look. I mean, I know I kind of dabbled and walked through all over the place here with you guys. So let's see if we can see if they have. Now, are you looking for fresh seafood, Andrew? Uh, Fresh. Let's see what we got. Oh, they do. Is it fresh or is it uh, frozen? So this looks frozen, Andrew. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. This is going to be a deep freezer. You got tuna. Alaska sake, raw shrimp, but I'll tell you what, a bag of, um, a bag of shrimp inside of the grocery store is no- normally about 22 bucks, mm-hmm. $22 here as well. So okay. awesome. $22 here as well. I'm checking to hey. see if they have anything else, Andrew. Not that I see. I think that that was the only, um, fish section that they had. Yeah, because I figure that if you, for any store, having a fresh seafood section would be very costly to maintain. So that's why I didn't expect them to have something like that. Now, they do have fish to order. So they have grilled salmon, ahi tuna, Mm. shrimp scampi. So I think that these are just dishes and meals that you can order to go, take home with you almost that are already prepared and made. And yeah, I think that that is, that's, that's the story, Andrew. It's uh, really nice. I think that the only thing that I missed was this giant cheese bin right here. It has all your different, all your different varieties of organic cheese. And the olive bar. Hey, if you have a wine selection, you've got, you have your cheeses and And your olive bar. And I love that it is, as you said, right next to the wine section. Great layout, right? Yeah. I think that I am going to probably get uh, something from lunch here at this sushi uh, place, Andrew. Take a look at their menu. Not sure if you'll be able to read the menu or not. Look right here. So these are sushi rolls, poke bowls. So the poke bowls. You got like your tuna poke bowl, which is going to um, be about $16. Your sushi rolls go from about 9 to $14, Andrew. We're very, very excited about the poke bowl, right? Poke bowl is like what's really popular. So you say that it's $16 for a poke bowl and all the ingredients in there are all organic because a normal poke bowl is around $13, non-organic, very affordable, I think. 
what would you guys want? Would you guys, uh, would you want to order the bowl or do we want to do a sushi roll? I'll have them make it and I'll show you guys the prepared item. Uh, to me, I love the poke bowl. I'm more of a tuna fan than I am a salmon fan. So I'm going to get the tuna poke bowl. Okay. All right, let's do it. And, and Joe, can you tell me about the location of Ada? I have an end. It was very rural at first but um okay. it's actually as i got to the location for ada very much on a busy roadway right very populated this is uh definitely a nice location uh whenever i go back outside if you want i'll give you kind of a look at um kind of the road location where we are but um it's right off of us highway 301 which is a popular uh major roadway down here location is definitely um a good one so the reason why i asked that question is because uh, i want to see if there is a non-organic supermarket competitor in the area or are so they the, the central locations for the people living nearby absolutely so and i was looking for other grocery store locations as i was driving in to this one for ada's mm -hmm. the only location that i saw that was another supermarket chain was a location called aldi's I'm not sure if you've heard of them I but aldi's them. is another and it's not an organic market it's a smaller grocery store chain um, okay so uh, but, um, I, I personally have an Aldi's location back in Tampa where, uh, w where I live at and I personally don't shop there. Awesome. So here is the presentation, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that's fresh avocados. I see very generous portion of tuna, you know, we're going to watch you eat. <laughs> Take uh, at least a bite, guys, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll get it to go, and we'll finish up for this. Absolutely, okay. man, that just looks incredible. I want to get just a little bit of everything, right? So yeah, get a little bit of the avocado, a little bit of the tuna, a little bit tang. Man, this is so awesome. I love it. Okay, let's try just it. Just a second to get in here, right? All right. I'm all messy. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> You're supposed to mix it all up and eat. That's how it is. Mm. Wow. That's absolutely amazing. And so you know, fresh we, and everything blends together. I remember going to Asia one time, and it was the first time that I actually knew what an, a mango actually tastes like. When you eat non-organic food, everything is so bland. The, the taste is not distinct. The, the best place that I've ever been, Andrew, is Japan. I was active duty in Okinawa, Japan for a couple of years uh, whenever I was in the Navy. Mm. And some of the absolute best, best food you'll ever try, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. When I was there in, in Japan, what they call the fish market, I think it was called Tsukichi Market Fish uh, with, their, with their cash for the day. And then you see a fleet of restaurants near that area and so they serve you like the freshest sushi in town so that's oh, that's man. where i had it and ever since then, any other places can't compare for sure for sure um you know like if our channel grow talk about a little bit about um your channel because you when you reached out to me i was like i don't know who this joe person is but let me let me continue to talk to you you'd be surprised as to how many people have reached out to me since i've had this channel that you're very serious about gain financial freedom and getting out of this rat race. Speak about your channel. Why did you start the channel? Yeah, so, um, you know, it's something that I've been wanting to start for honestly a couple of years now. I just, I didn't have, have the right kickstart and for myself, self the right way. And, you know, so all I did was I watched, you know, I watched a lot of different YouTubers, a lot of different channels, and I came across your channel, Andrew, um, literally maybe a month or two ago, you were just kind of starting it. And yeah. I, I just, you know, I thought to myself, man, you know, because with some of the YouTubers that are out there, especially, you know, some of the OGs, they got the whole setup, right? Like the perfect camera, the perfect background, the perfect drop. They got all of their nice knickknacks set up on the desk. And, you know, I looked at, man, I would just be on my kitchen table, right? Making a video. I thought it wasn't good enough. And here you come just, you know, inside of your room, 
no background, nothing, just wanting to, to, you know, share your knowledge, share your thoughts, your ideas, just your wisdom, right? Like what, what you accomplished in your shirt, you know, your short time here and, and what you plan to accomplish in the future. I think that that direct approach is something that brings people in. It's something that draws attention. Um, because if you can, if you can keep the engagement of, of, of a person, right, then you're doing something right. And that you did, you know, you, you drew me in because financial freedom is, I think, something that everybody strives for. We all want it, but no one truly knows how to get it or attain it. And so taking small steps, like starting a YouTube channel and spreading knowledge about ways to become financially free from the rat race is, I mean, that's, that's the whole purpose. And you really, you brought me out of my shell, which thank you. You know what I mean? I, I wanted to, to start my channel to do more like you are, um, spread my knowledge and, and, you know, potentially not that it's financial advice, but if I can find something before you that could better both of us, why not share it with you? You know, we're all here together. We're all here for the first time. Um, we've never been here before. And I think that we should all make it to the end, not just one of us. Information is a really powerful tool. It's a zero sum game. We can all gain from it. I, I agree with you. I, I'm just so honored by what you said there. Uh, thank you so much. Types of conversations really give me the energy to continue. The thing is when I first started my YouTube channel, I had the same fear because everyone was like, oh my goodness, they've got your, their professional setup. And here I am. I don't even know how to do recording. Uh, I don't know yeah. if you've noticed, but I did live uh, like two days ago. I went on live for the very first time. I didn't even know what it was. I was asking people, okay, when you're going on live, is it interactive? Can people talk back to me? Doing things organically is the best way. You no, know, a lot of a lot of the drive, it can bring bring a lot of negative into the world. And I'm just looking for a little more positive. So trying to bring that to everybody. Exactly. So what is the name of your channel, Joe? It's Lily TV. Um, I would absolutely love uh, if uh, you know you you guys to take a look and tell me your thoughts, tell me your opinions. You know, if you guys got any ideas about what I could do maybe better or just, you know, things that you want to see in the future. Um, I really want to grow this channel and really help, you know, um, younger generations and, and the people that are coming after us, you know, to know that you don't have to stick to that, um, that nine to five lifestyle, you know, go to school, get a degree, uh, go to college, find a career and die, you know, uh, regretting the things you didn't do. Um, I think taking a jump, taking a leap and educating yourself to bettering not only yourself, but others around you is, is a really positive move. And I think that uh, taking it one step at a time, Andrew, is the way that we're going to get there, right? Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. The most successful roads that I've taken are the roads that are less traveled. So, because that's where all the excitement is in life. You know, um, a big, uh, you see all these uh, motivational speeches and things that people put out. And, you know, the one thing that I think that sticks uh, with, it doesn't matter who it is that's ever spoke, they all kind of have the same general uh, rule is that you got to try. Mm -hmm. You got to try. Because if you don't, then everything will never happen. Right. So trying is key. Um, and that's the whole purpose for me reaching out to you, too. I really appreciate you reaching back to me. I'm glad we were able to get together and kind of show um, what HCMC is doing, what they already have, what they're trying to accomplish. I mean, this is an absolutely beautiful grocery store, man. I would definitely shop here if it was closer to where I'm at. But an hour and a half drive is a little too much on the gas tank. <laughs> no, absolutely. I really appreciate what you did today. I think that a lot of our viewers can appreciate your drive. I already mentioned in the beginning of the video, most people right now, because of the market correction, they're panicking because they think that HCMC is a scam. And I think your video is going to prove to them that they have an actual store, a uh, revenue generating company. And believe it or not, people are shopping here. I've had to squeam my way around a couple of them, you know? Exactly. So 
um, I think that you are going to have a huge impact, at least for the HCMC following with the efforts that you did today to help me put together this video. Just what you did today, I think is going to ease the minds of so many HCMC investors, and they're going to appreciate you going all the way out there to show them. I sure hope so, Andrew, you know, and honestly, I do it again. Um, because I want to see this company grow. I want to see them, you know, do great things in the future. I want a more healthier, uh, uh, healthier alternative um, than what we've had for past generations, right? I mean, we gotta, we gotta clean up somehow. We gotta start somewhere. What we did today is pretty sufficient for a video. You eat your lunch because I know it's good when it's fresh. Hopefully, we'll see uh, how receptive people are uh, with this video. So I'm very excited about about more videos together, perhaps in the future. I'm definitely excited to work with you in the future. And as I said, uh, whenever I was writing you, uh, one of these days, we'll definitely be able to share a drink together, man. Have a good cheers. Um, yeah, I'm for really, sure. really looking forward to it. Yeah, have a good lunch and take care. Hey, thank you. Thanks so much for your call. Thanks for having me. And I look forward to seeing the video. Okay. All right. Take care. Buddy. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.